So we're going to take a trip here from the sublime to the ridiculous. We have our internal combustion engine cars here, like these Toyota sports cars. We have the Supra, which is like a super car. And the GR86, which is more like your Miata type pure sports car. We're venturing over here to Hyundai, and what we have here is the beginnings of our craze for the electric vehicles of the world. Because supposedly we're going to all electric all the time by 2035 or whatever it is. Over here is where they have the simulators for the electric vehicles. As you can see, we have the Hyundai. quiet electric vehicles coming through here. You got your electric Kona, you got your electric Ionic 5 and Ionic going by. Supposedly those are the craze of the future, but in reality they have a limited uh, capability of being incorpor uh, incorporated by people that want to use them because there's a limited user base for electric vehicles. And even if there was enough demand for electric vehicles in the public, there's not enough charging stations to actually supply power to those without giving people range anxiety. In addition, you know, as we've been talking about, the uh, grid, the electric grid, is not sufficiently uh, built up enough to supply the power that's needed to um, power all those electric vehicles when they get plugged in at their house, at the charging stations, and elsewhere across the country. As we move around here, we're coming now to where things make sense. As you know in our prior videos, which I'll put up here, we've been talking about how the wave of the current future is hybrids, which Toyota has been doing a lot more with hybrids than they have been with plug-in electric vehicles, and for good reason, because that is what is going to be able to power the future, at least for the foreseeable future. We're going to have a hard time going to all electric because the, um, the infrastructure is not built up yet. And until that infrastructure is built up, we're going to need to use what we have available around the country for our fossil fuels. And that's where hybrids come in because they do use fossil fuels if you need them. They also generate electricity for the battery power. And newer hybrids are plugged in so they are able to be plugged in at home or at a, plug -in, at a uh, charging station to give you the ability to um, Require power from the grid to hopefully take advantage of renewables that are coming more and more online with the grid as it stands now. So, uh, unfortunately, in the future, the grid is not going to be able to produce enough carbon free power to power all of the vehicles that are coming online. So, in order to be fully carbon free in the future and to build up to that sufficient base load power, as you've seen in our prior videos, we're going to need to use nuclear power to be able to get to that point. That's the way it is. Joining you here from the Chicago Auto Show. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time here on Driving at Home.